Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of TG Stories where we will be talking about the story of friends and coming and going as you can see right here above me and under here you can also see TG Stories, you know uh, but today we have a somewhat more serious story to begin this series with because last episode you can watch it right there in the information box or no, actually just have the playlist put there I think that's way better but uh, let me put the music a little down for you guys just a bit of a background obviously but not too loud you know uh, a little louder may be yeah, sure but um, yeah um, this in theory the second episode but this is the first story and it's a big one ladies and gentlemen because um, I got the text in front of me and I'm certainly gonna read the script more and more because uh, yeah I'm just gonna read this a little like book you know but really with emotions and expressions like you know what it is with this right in front of me just to explain it a little bit more you know because uh, in the last episode I already explained everything but now just a little more uh, I write this just before the episode so I already have a little bit emotion in it you know and I just read it and uh, read it out loud you know and you guys can enjoy it too and it's also in the description so don't forget to check the description if you want to read with me but um, yeah if you have any subjects you want me to talk about let me know in the comments because I may do a video on that obviously and if you have questions about anything in this episode uh, you can also ask and if it is a big question I will do a video on it and TG stories because you know sometimes questions lead to all, whole big stories and some other questions just could be easily answered and then I will answer in the comments now all right um but let's begin with the story this one is already said a bit more serious than others but hey whatever you know as always I'll stay as real as possible and this is the first I thought of while thinking what story I wanted to tell, which is true. So, this story we are going all the way back to group 1. And for, explana and for the explanation of things, here in the Netherlands we work with a school system. You are going to primary school from group 1 to group 8. Then you go to middle school from, from class 1 to 4. At least that is for me. Um, and I will relate to them as, well, the primary school I will relate to as group and the middle school I will relate to as class, you know, like group 1 is primary, group 5 is primary, class 1 is middle school, class 4 is middle school, uh, group 8 is primary. You get it? I hope you do. Um, but okay, in group 1 there was already a beautiful girl. I was just playing with. I was four at the moment, by the way. But yeah, she and me were like... Like the best friends of the whole class. Obviously, I can remember much. But yeah, that felt for what feels, feels now... That felt for what feels now a friend for life. Hmm... That's not correct. Whatever. We'll keep the faulty shitty bits in. Um, but yeah. Uh, it just... Oh. It just felt like a friend for life at that point, obviously. Though I moved to group 2 and she moved to another house. So, goodbye to her. Though, no problems at that time, you know. Like, what is emotions at that age? But okay, so she was the first friend who did go. Now I'm gonna speed things a little up to group 3. This is a whole other story that I might tell someday. But uh, like, I went to, with my grandma to the playground sometimes, a week, you know. And there was also this very beautiful girl. I went to play the... I went to the playground... Um, what, huh? I wrote it two times. And well, one day she was there. 
Then I had to go home and gone. And well, I really was a child that was kind of clingy to the person that was going out with me. Like I have never been alone and it is group six. So you have to think I was six at that point or a group three. So I was six, you know, so being alone because I, wa I was allowed to stay there in the playground. But yeah, that, that unfortunately, no, nah. I was too scared. And we were for my feeling and also I think the be best friends ever. She returned one year later. But I shied out and shied out and I literally said like Well I didn't say anything I think. I literally just ignore her and being red as fuck and just like oh my god Is she dead? Oh my god Oh fuck Oh is she What do I have to do you know? And well, then I never saw her ever again. Which is still unfortunate to this day. Which is definitely a story we're gonna tell sometime. Maybe in the future. I think at least before episode 10 we already have told that story. Because that story is so just so good. And well, then I changed schools. Because I got bullied at my first primary school in group 6. I made a new few friends on my new school. But definitely not forever. People tried to contact me. Contact with Tried to keep contact with everyone, but kind, kind of is succeeded. But only the people that went to the same sc middle school are still talking. I think that's still true to this day. Though there are definitely some other people still talking with each other. And not on the same middle school, but I don't know about any. I don't know anything about that. I know six went to one school and... Well, my class had 20, 22 people, 21 or something in group 8, so... And 6 of those were going to the same school. They definitely kept contact, obviously. And the others, maybe some, maybe not. I have no clue. And there was someone that went to my middle school for my class. But that was just never a friend of mine. She was kind, but nothing more than that. So many people lost. No loose, not gonna lie. Also another window. Yeah, I mean, I I did lose many friends. But still, it didn't really matter. Like, yeah, whatever, you know. You grow over it and life just continues. And ends middle school. Oh, got that middle school. Though it only lasts four years, I lost so many people. Still losing to all this day. Because, well, everyone who knew me. No, shit. <laughs> I'm reading my own text wrong, <laughs> damn. Everyone knew me, you know. I was just a chill but also bitter guy. Like that person who is very chill if you just chill with him. But if you gonna fuck around it, you are fucked. And have everyone kind of against you. Happened one time when a girl was annoying to me, many people stood up for me because she was a straight up bitch from hell. But yeah, ev everyone did kind of knew me if it was not personal it was just by reputation which was in many good in many ways good but also in some ba ways bad like my relationship at the time i li like my relationship at the time gave me pretty bad reputation but yeah i think in my peak time I had like 18 friends and yes I did count them I did count them on school and online it always has been just one as in online that is uh, online as in just discord snapchat y you get it god damn it I mean some time oh what is that's something that I don't have to read now but not like. But how many of the 70 people I spoke after school online or IRL? Probably just 6, maybe 10. But 10 is the highest, literally. Now remaining till this day, just one, two. Well, no, never mind. I have one friend, but like, he's just very, very chill dude, and it's a fight with him. 
literally every time I talk with him, and he has been my friend since class one, you know. A year and a half, and we were friends, and well, it never went away. We were like the best of friends, well, not the best of friends. The relationship itself, relationship is friendship, you know, uh, it isn't like the best, I'm not gonna lie. But it's steady, and if I were to be in trouble, I think he would help me, or at least try to, and the same for him on my side. If he was in trouble, I would try to help him, sure, obviously, maybe not do the biggest fucking uh, shit, but if I can help him, why not? We never also have had a, any argument, like... He is just not the kind of person you would have an argument with, you know? Um, but yeah, it, it still is a pretty stable friendship, you know? Um, I even did a podcast with him, actually. I think that was the last podcast I uploaded till this point. And if I need... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, I may have gained... Lots of people lost very many people too, but like being friends is hard to have many friends as YouTube because online friends you can't really make. I mean, I still did use Wink when I was in class 2, so that means I was 13, 14, 14, yeah, 13, 14, something like that. Both <laughs> to make friends and maybe even a fuck butt for later, you know, but we. That really wasn't a priority though. It was mainly to make friends. Which is true. Well, obviously it's fucking true because I fucking wrote this. Oh my fucking god. No, it, it, it was true. But, spoiler though, never happened. I never received a fuck but, unfortunately. Though also fortunately, I mean... Do I really want someone to have as a fuck but? Right now, I don't want to, no. There was one girl though, but she was so demanding of everything and she wanted to get co-owner in my discord server and everything. She demanded it, you know, and well, she couldn't accept no, so there was a no for me. And yes, even about this, I'm fully honest, as weird, weird as it sounds, though she was very, very fun to chat with. That's, that's, she was indeed fucking fun to chat with. Unfortunately though, she eventually wasn't as fun to chat with anymore and became also very basic, but also very fucking toxic. I didn't add that, but... I mean, I didn't add it in the script, but... Like, she was fucking toxic. She became very fucking toxic. And that was the final goodbye, unfortunately, yes. But hey, life goes on. By the way, about the fuck butt part... I mean, it's, it is true. I did search for someone to eventually sex with. Though, that was just horniness, can't lie about that, like, sometimes you get very fucking curious, you know? I mean... I did explain it, literally. Um, but yeah, it, it is... I'm just gonna be fucking honest about it, I don't fucking care about being honest about it. I mean, it's true, you know, uh, I was very curious at the time. 13, 14, you get your ho hormones, you don't really know how to deal with your hormones. I mean, I definitely got my hormones much quicker than average person, I have a feeling about, but these days you never know when the normal uh, age is to get those things. And, well, like, I was just fucking curious about things, you know. If, okay. Let's just say, if a girl at that point were to come to me and s say, want to have sex, and she was pretty beautiful, you know, not ugly, not very beautiful, just in the middle, I would have said yes, obviously. If someone were to come to me right now though, like, hey, you wanna have sex with me? I would think two times about it, like for real, I, I, I don't know, I, I never had sex, that's the first thing, I'm virgin, yes, and also I don't care about saying that on YouTube, I mean I'm 16 after all, um, 
Especially those people who already are not virgin anymore. And are even less than 16 sometimes. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, if I were to have the right per people, I also wouldn't have been virgin. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. But hey, enough about fuck but and fucking. We went from losing many people to just searching for fuck buddies. But in general, I think this episode is done. If you have any more questions, ask me right in the comments. Right now in the comments. I may even react on it with video. If it was a big story, of, if it is a big story, of course. But thank you so much for watch, watching and listening. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to see more of this kind of shit, check my playlist on my main page. And till next time. Goodbye, goodbye. And I really want to thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.